Hi guys, so I have a new unboxing to do slash little mini haul and um, I thought that you guys would really enjoy this one because I haven't been doing like Hot Topic or box lunch hauls in a very long time. There just hasn't really been enough product that I want to buy in mass amounts and in terms of me not shopping there, I haven't been earning any hot cash or lunch money to spend. So I really haven't been purchasing anything from there. Um, I haven't been to a Hot Topic store in a minute. I go once in a blue moon if we go to like the outlets and stuff, but I haven't been going to like our local Hot Topic in forever. Um, so there was a new collection launch on Loungefly's website. A few days ago, in honor of 101 Dalmatians' 60th anniversary, and I bought a few things, so I thought that I would just unbox what I got with you guys. So this is the box. And I feel like this box is like not that big, so I'm a little bit nervous but also excited. I didn't buy the whole collection. So I guess let's get the paper. Oh. Oh. So I'm gonna put this down. Now, firstly, I got this. So this is actually a freebie because I spent $100. So I got free shipping, which was great. And then I also got this free holiday pin for my purchase. So I thought that this was awesome because I do still collect pins once in a while. I just haven't really been buying pins to do like unboxings and stuff again. I thought this was a cool freebie and it wasn't even like a thing where you had to add a code to your cart. They just put it in there for you, which I think is great because it literally lets everyone get it. And it's just like a little red present book bag. And I do have some of the Never for Christmas Loungefly bag pins. Those are the only bag pins that I have though because they aren't necessarily my favorite. I think it's kind of weird to have like a pin of a purse. It's this really nice gold enamel and on the back it's just a bunch of the Loungefly crowns and it says Loungefly. Oh my gosh it came in a bag? Whoa this feels like so official. I've never gotten something from Loungefly and it come in a bag. So it came in this bag and it says Disney Lounge Fly. How like formal is that? Like that's like extreme. This is actually really cute. Like this is really nice quality. I didn't really know what to expect. Especially when I order stuff like this because it's not something that I'm like necessarily going to wear. But it is this ear headband. So kind of like Mickey ears but they're dog ears. And um, the Parks did something very similar, but they were plush ears. And I can actually take this off without cutting it. The tags don't show the prices or anything, but it does say Disney Lounge Fly. This is it. There's like nothing in the middle and there's a little hook. But it's actually this really nice pleather material. It does have Disney Lounge Fly embroidered on the side. It's got this really nice like velvet type of material on the inside. Um, it has some spots all around it and then there's one white ear and one black ear. I like that. I like how the ears aren't like spotted or anything. The tag is a little bit much for me. Um, I feel like you would have to cut this if you're going to wear it which is not what I want to do. It is this nice plastic though that I don't think it'd be irritable um, but unfortunately even if you fold it in it's still going to hang out quite a bit. So you'd have to like fold it. Okay, but why are these like actually super cute? I like think, I don't know, I love Dalmatians so much that I feel like if I tried to like cosplay or dress as one, I feel like it's just, it's weird, it's weird. But these are so stinking cute. <laughs> I think these are cute. I feel like I should wear it for the rest of the video at least, right? I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video. This is what I was most excited about and it is this wallet. I'm so excited about this because I have so, so many 101 Dalmatians purses, like coach purses and Disney Lounge Fly purses. And I have been wanting a big, like a billfold wallet like this that is Dalmatian 
forever and I've been really wanting the coach one. I've been wanting something like this for a while to use my purses. Specifically, I do have a Dooney and Burke bag. That collection, they didn't make a wallet. It is just white with the dogs all over it. So I think this will contrast really well to have red with the puppies. So I think this would be great and it will definitely fit in that purse. I don't know if I would use this with my coach purses because I feel like they're a little more formal and dainty and this doesn't fit the style of any of them. But I could definitely use this with any of my lounge fly Dalmatian bags, which is perfect. Metal plaque on the on the front there and then this is the back and what I love about this is that it's accurate because the puppies only have blue and red collars and this is something I've talked about in several of like my hauls and stuff where they do stuff where the puppies have multicolored collars it's just blue and red so on the inside here we have this side for all of your cards and then there's a bone cut out on the ID spot which we're gonna take this little, it smells like fresh, fresh pleather. You guys can kind of see some of the pattern there. So it says 60th anniversary with the dogs. And then even more so on the inside here, like where you put like maybe like your insurance cards and stuff, it has the 60th anniversary. And then you can see Lucky here and then Patch is down there. Um, so very nice, you have these card slots here. This does open here and here as well. So you have two extra pockets on this side too. The pocket right there. And then you have the zipper. Just says LF on the zipper tag there. Nothing Dalmatian related. And then you can zip this open for your change. And then there's the pattern on the inside again. That is so nice. I like how the pattern matches the black and the red. And if I ever got the Cruella Dooney and Burke, I think that this would be really nice to use with that as well because it's just all the puppies. I'm excited to see this in person. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it matches the headband. Oh, this is so cute. It matches the headband. Okay. I'm gonna need scissors for like the plastic on the handles. So just ignore the plastic on the handles. But um, this is actually embroidered, the patch on him and his, and his other eye is embroidered. And then on the back, it's all spots, super cute. And then you get a black crossbody strap, which I like. That is not white. I'm gonna take the stuffing out to show you guys, and I'm probably gonna put it back in because I'm not gonna be using this purse anytime this year because it's the holiday season. So I'm probably gonna put in, go into a holiday bag. You can really see the pattern on the inside of this one. So there is a single zipper pouch pattern is inside of that even. This is a nice size. I don't think this is too small. You could definitely fit your phone and a nice size wallet. This wallet would never fit in the purse I'm using now, but let's see if it would fit into this one. Oh no, it does. It's just kind of forceful. I mean, it's not too bad. It fits in there. And it comes out. It's just like a little, it's, it's a little, it's a little tight, but I also feel like this bag isn't like worn out yet. I don't know. I do have some like half size um, Dalmatian wallet, so I probably use one of those with the crossbody to be honest. This is everything that I got from the 60th anniversary Disney Lounge by Launch. I hope that you guys like this Disney video. I know it's been a while. I'm gonna call my mom and show her everything that I got and maybe take some pictures in this headband to post on my Instagram. So, hello guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.